Ooh, that could be a good one. Little ding on the tip, but pretty colors, huh? There's a nice little cross section of formation. There's chain the ridge down there, sandy stuff, bag layer up there. <coughs> waiting to be plucked probably an Angus Dighton yep looks like it oh I just got kissed by the machine on that side dang oh that would have been a killer 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 oh man oh well back to hunting looks like a nice Angus Dighton Pretty good, pretty good. That's a pretty little tooth. On the smaller end of the size spectrum for the Angus Dighton. Now I'm guessing this shark's probably about 10 feet long when it was swimming around. So look at this beautiful formation. Oh, oh, there's a tooth. Didn't even see that when I was at the wrong angle. good that's pretty good the one I was actually gonna film is over here this guy pretty colors I know it's got a little ding on the tip but man you just don't see colors like this very much just beautiful there's one hiding. I can see it's missing a cusp right there. But the rest of it, oh, the rest of it's not there either. Look at this. I'm gonna try to get it without falling in. I don't know how I'm gonna manage that. Let's see if I can stand down here. Probably be the best part of the whole video. That looks good. Oh yeah. Trip maker. Look at that one. Just the cream of the crop. Every serration. Just great colors. Good stuff. There's a tooth. Not bad. Just a little bit dinged like everything today so far. One down in the runoff. A little feeding damaged. Pretty colors though on this angie. Beautiful Angus Dine laying there. Oh man, look at those colors. Really good tooth. Another small one, but this one has just got such superb colors. I don't know how they get that extra little band on them sometimes, but man, those are some of my favorite colors on teeth. That one looks good. Oh yeah. That will do. That'll do. Trip maker right there. 
Mm. Another really high quality find. Just beautiful preservation. They don't get much better than that. Look what I just flipped out. It's right there. Holy crap, that is a beast, Angustine. Big, big, bad. Look at that thing. Those side cusps are so huge. This is a pretty good size shark. If I had to guess based on the size of a Megalodon, this would probably be somewhere between 25 and 30 foot long shark. This is a big one. Right here. Oh yeah, okay. All right. Oh my gosh, that is big. Oh man, I hope it's whole. You, it is, you just moved it. Oh my gosh, you dog. That thing is huge. <gasps> You're so lucky, oh, oh my man. gosh, it's Dude. Pretty. That's an, an Angie. Angie. That is an Angie. You That's an Angus Steiden. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Add another four incher to. Holy catch crap. Wow. I thought that was a Meg. Wow, dude, look up and smile. That's freaking. <laughs> I've never seen someone do one that big. Dude, that's un insane. Oh my God. Wow. There it is, all cleaned up. The Angus Titan, four and three quarters inches long, just beast mode tooth. Not flawless, but pretty pretty darn good. It's got both cusps on it, got the tip, the serrations, about as big as they're gonna get. So it's easy to see how Megalodon grew out of this species of shark. There it is, family photo, all the stars of this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and if you haven't already, it's just a click away. We'll see you next time.